Hello and welcome back. This is Maria from Kitchen Sink Stamps. Have you ever created a card using stamped cutouts and then wanted an easy way to make another card with the same design quickly? In this video, I'd like to show you how I like to make a twin card using a stamp platform and double-sided sticky grid paper. First, I prepare a duplicate card with everything except the stamped cutouts attached to the front card panel. I will be using the finished card as a template and place it into the stamp platform. You'll have better results if you start this technique with a fresh sheet of sticky grid paper. Place the sticky grid on top of the finished card and cover as much of the cutouts on the finished card as possible. Close the lid and press down firmly. When reopening the lid of the stamp platform, it is okay if the lid picks up the entire card. Carefully pull the card off the sticky grid paper, making sure that the sticky grid stays in place on the lid. Place the finished card back in the stamp platform. Identify the bottom layer of cutouts on the finished card. For this card, the leaves are on the very bottom, so I will be using them first. Carefully and without adhesive, place the matching leaves directly on top of the finished card. If there are cutouts that overlap each other, I find it is better to wait and add those cutouts the next time around. Overlapping loose cutouts can shift much easier when closing the lid of the stamp platform. I thought I could add this small leaf at the bottom in this round, but the bottom strip of this sticky grid doesn't have adhesive. You'll see what happens. After most of the leaves are in place, slowly close the lid and press firmly. Open the lid and find that the leaves have now transferred over to the sticky grid. Remove the finished card and replace it with the card that is being duplicated. Add your favorite adhesive to the back of the cutouts. Here I'm using 8th inch score tape. If any of the cutouts fall off the sticky grid, like the small leaf, just set it aside and add it with the next round of leaves. I am trying to be very careful not to move or shift any of the cutouts when I'm removing the back of the adhesive tape. When all the adhesive backing has been removed, close the lid of the stamp platform and press firmly. Again, it is okay if the entire card lifts up when reopening the lid of the stamp platform. Just gently remove the card, and now we have leaves that are attached to our duplicate card. Replace the finished card, the template, back into the stamp platform. I'm going to reposition the sticky grid to cover any of the remaining leaves. Because I'm repeating this process, I am going to speed things up a little. A side note, Sizzix does make a larger size of sticky grid paper and by cutting it down to a size that better covers the overall card size, that would help avoid the adhesiveless strip at the bottom that can cause a bit of frustration. But I'm using what I have. Now that all the leaves are attached to the duplicate card, it is time to work on the middle layer of flowers. Still using the blue and yellow card as a template, readjust the sticky grid so all three small flowers are covered. 
Repeat the same process that was done before with all of the leaves. I am still using an eighth of an inch score tape to adhere all the small flowers to the duplicate card. A quick drying liquid glue may be a better option for this technique instead of using the score tape and having to remove all the tape backing. But I opted for the tape just so I could make sure that the cutouts had a quick and strong bond to the card front when I closed down the lid of the stamp positioner. Now that the small flowers have been added to the card front, I only have the last layer of flowers left. Because the large flowers do have a small little overlap, I decided to do each one separately. Instead of adhering the large flowers with score tape, I'm using the same one millimeter thick pop dots that I used on the blue and yellow card, just for a little added dimension. Ah, the last and final flower. After the last flower is added, all that is needed is a sentiment. There you have a simple way of duplicating a card with multiple cutouts and layers. Of course, the more layers of cutouts, the longer it will take but I still think it is a time saver. I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please hit the like button to let me know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a fabulous and crafty day. Bye.